This is Code.org, and we're talking style and documentation. This is a mess, a disaster. Does it even run? Ugh. Students don't do this. I don't want to grade stuff that looks like this. Oh, it runs. Oh, gosh. All right, guys. Even if code runs, running is the goal, but you also want readable code. So let's take a look. Why this code is written, uh, I mean, the way... Is it easy to read wire or not? No, it's one huge block. There's no indenting. It's a, it's a mess, right? It's pretty hard to see what's going on here. What is contained within other items? It's it's brutal. Can you usually tell what the program is supposed to do without running? Well, you start. I started this by running it for a reason. It is pretty hard to parse out to figure this out with just a block. You can, sure, right? I can take it line by line. But it's so much easier to have indenting and things for organizing purposes. What would you tell the programmer to help improve their code? I would say what I just said. I would recommend indenting for one to make code more readable. Spacing is also important, right? Because if you can't tell what code's doing or it takes you a while to read through it, that actually slows down programming. It makes programming less efficient. What I would do... Will they let me edit this? Yes, thank goodness. This is what I would recommend, right? So we have the neighborhood class. We have the main. So I'm going to do this, actually. Shift tab. I'm going to select all of this. Like that. And then I need this. Tabbed over, I think. And this. That is what I would recommend. And I might even space it out more with some blanks for readability, right? If code isn't easy to read, it's not easy to work with, it's not easy to change, it's not easy to edit, all of these things. I might even separate out at the turns to be clear what is occurring. Not required, but it makes it easier to read again. And that is part of the goal here. Cool, onward.